this little old place. I'm Tish, and this is Echo Echo. How are we, people? I think I've got paint on my face. And my hands, I've got paint on there. They're a bit cleaner now, but how we going? Good. Just dropped a couple of videos on a weekend. And got way more content of theirs. I haven't even checked the Facebook group today. <laughs> I'm chortling. And Minnie is too. Can you see her? Uh, she just she just pushed my chair again. I just need to get comfortable. Okay. And so back for another anti MLM. Working on my costume for Dragula, which we are Miss Erie and I are going to shoot on Monday. And yeah, so in the meantime, I've been trying to get videos out about Veronica Bay, haven't I now? So this is a new one, I haven't seen it. DC did actually tell me uh, it was pretty crazy. And so here we are. We've got a uh, live reaction. She, Veronica Bay, oh, she makes me angry. She brings out, she brings it out in me. She really does. Uh, she, in case you're not familiar with her, I envy you. I was a lot happier before I knew she existed. Mm. Anyway, she is a network marketing lady. She went to college to become a journalist, and apparently she didn't really like it. <laughs> She spent two months, two and a half months, I think. No, I may, may be getting that wrong. She was doing Monate for two and a half months and then she quit her her job. So she may have been working on it longer than that. Anyway, uh, she joined Monate and was successful. She made it to the second highest rank, which is director. And recently... Oh, made a lot of money, made a lot of money, and recently left Monate to go to iGenius, which is a uh, Monate MLM that sells shampoo and skincare, hair care, skincare, well-being, and Veronica left to go to iGenius, who sells financial education, and it is also an MLM, and she's brought a team. And ranked up pretty quickly, but basically, she's a capitalist pig, you know, like she's just, it's all money and, you know, she used to, it seemed like she was liberal before, but she's very conservative, loves Trump and, yeah, uh, she's not a very good person in my opinion, just based solely on her videos and Instagram and online presence that I have been observing over the last mu couple of months. Oh, it's raining here. I love the rain. All right, please like and subscribe and let's do this. Hello, hello. Hey guys. To anyone tuning in, you're probably like, what is this live going to be about? <laughs> and all I have to say is tune in because it's going to be worth it. And you guys know that I only bring to you the best of the best all the time. Um, I am the kind of person that I love to put people on. I love, love, love to pe put people on to what's working for me because sometimes I have to go through ups and downs and roller coasters to figure out, you know, what works. And then it clicks. And when it clicks, I'm like, hey, like I got to tell the world um so welcome everyone how's everyone doing where are you guys joining in from i want to see um she's gonna make me need botox right here 
Veronica has what we call main character syndrome. So she thinks the useless shit that happens in her life is interesting enough for people to really aspire to. <sighs> Having money really does give people a sense of self self importance, you know. Because I know this is about hypnosis or something. She, as I've said many times, Veronica loves herself so much. She's very arrogant. Who is on this live today? Um, hypnosis and Christian. <laughs> I, I don't really... The more I get into my relationship with God, the less that I call myself a Christian. Um, I'm just a human. So that's what I am. And I believe in Jesus and I believe in God. I believe in the conversations I have with God and they guide me to certain places. So if you play by the rules of someone else, and if you're someone that actually goes to Christian church and sometimes listens to some of the things that are said and you actually think about the fact that God is supposed to be love, a lot of the things don't make sense. Um, so yes, I do believe in Jesus, which would classify me as a Christian, I guess. But at the same time, I also believe in my heart and in the conversations that I personally have with God. So yes, hypnosis. Uh... So, great, but, <laughs> like, oh, what does it have to do with anything? It's, you know, Brittany Dawn, I'm sure that my anti-MLM friends out there know who Brittany Dawn is. Be Dawn, Be Dawn. Uh, she doesn't do yoga because it's associated with Hinduism. Mmm. Pretty sure the Bible said you're not supposed to be, like, I don't know, eating pork and crap like that. What are you doing? Can you stop? I don't know what the problem is. These are idiots. Uh, I think the rain's driving them crazy. Stop, please. Just stop. Uh, it's interesting, though, that she said, she's moving away from calling herself a christian she's very religious like she's got it in her bio when she talks about her guy she said you know look at the look at the man that god sent me ah my butterfly fell off my phone case oh so it's like got a little like thingy and the butterfly was here Hmm. Hmm. hypnosis 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 and skin which is something that i've been talking to you all for a while because i have struggled i don't even like to say that out loud anymore but for the past three years i just could not figure out how to heal my skin um uh my night has a skincare line did you promote that? Asking for a friend. It's me. I'm, I'm my own best friend. <laughs> Girls night out every night. Just us. In like 2019, I just started breaking out and I couldn't like, it wasn't like huge breakouts, but it was texture and it made me so uncomfortable because I had never had it. And three years passed by. Still till today, you know, until not too long ago, I was on a mission, guys. When I tell you thousands of dollars spent, I mean it. And if you have perfect skin and you're like, oh, well, I don't think this relates to me. There is a problem that you keep on trying to solve. That Yeah, like I knew this was about hip hypnosis. But I'm waiting to see where she's going to fit it into. IG. Sorry, I just, this is a weird ring. It doesn't have a clicker on it. Um, what's happening? She... Oh, I don't think she... Maybe she is aware of her privilege, but it's just like you are so privileged to spend thousands on your skincare. 
and you have the solution for. So keep listening because you might find your solution throughout this conversation. But for three years, always being, you know, super just over the top, doing the most, how can I fix this? Uh, so restricting and so extra. Like my skincare routine was like nine steps long. Like I had to do the most. And Oh, Kim Kardashian skin collection finally about a month ago i found this ad of this guy who literally like hypnotized someone and he was claiming that he could stop people from uh, vaping and quit people's smoking addictions like in one session and i just followed the vibe and i was like this seems interesting um I'm interested, right? But nothing. I like followed him. We talked briefly, but then I just let it go. And then um, I was watching some YouTube videos. Guess about what? About skincare, right? Because I'm always trying to like force the solution. And the funny thing is, is I know so much about mindset and heart set and about how to get the universe to work in your favor. And I know this is a big fact that what you resist persists and at this point it was hitting me and it was marcus that kept on telling me babe stop it like stop like just going crazy over your skin like leave it alone like you're so beautiful just ignore it like it's not a big deal and he would always tell me babe just stop using everything you're using just use water like that's it like cut cut it all off but of course he's my boyfriend so i was like no babe you know nothing like pores um i never used monate it didn't work for me for skincare i was using face reality was the last thing that i used but i've used everything um yeah it's interesting someone must have asked her that question because i'm looking back in the old in her instagram and um i'm gonna see if i can We'll see if she's got a post about the Monate skincare. Obaji, uh, all the best lines, DMK, all of it. When I tell you I've invested thousands of dollars over the past three years, probably at least 30,000 in different products. And right now I use nothing, which is going to blow your mind. But let, let, let me give you the whole story, right? So... I was on YouTube and I found this guy of like how to naturally heal your skin. And he said, he's like, listen, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. He's like, if you are trying a million. How can I say this? Um, I don't think this actually ever happened. <laughs> <laughs> everybody uses that quote i don't think that it uh i just if she was more of an honest person maybe i'd believe it but in different skincare products with all these active ingredients and none of them are working for you what do you think that the next one that you find is going to work for you because it's not and a little bit before I watched that video, I had already started coming to terms in my heart that this was an emotional thing, a spiritual thing that like fell on me. And then I reinforced it by giving it so much attention because where um, attention goes, energy flows. So if every day you're like, I have acne, I need to cure. And in your mind, you're like, I have acne. Boom, you're going to have acne. I What is wrong with these MLM people? You can't think things into being. It's not fucking Hogwarts. It's not magic. You can't. You just. You know, like I understand manifesting and I understand, you know, having a path and positive, the power of positive thoughts, not toxic positivity. There's a difference. But this is just ridiculous. 
I was thinking about acne, so I kept getting acne. No, it's good and fuck all to do with that. Okay? Oh, my God. This is so stupid. So stupid. I have oily skin. You're going to overproduce oils because there is power in the word. And, and that's what I'm trying to get you guys to recognize that in my case, it was breakouts. And in your case, it could be your weight. I can never shed this weight. Yes, you can never shed this weight, right? That will be your ultimate reality because it's what you keep reinforcing. And as I said, what you resist persists, right? There goes my boyfriend. And these little sound bites that are like, Pinterest quotes it just sounds so disingenuous would have bombing me um so anyways once I heard this live from this guy he's like cleanse your skin with lemon he's like get lemon cleanse your skin with lemon and then he was like an apple cider and tone it with apple oh we love citric acid on our face apple cider vinegar and I was like I be spending so much money on skincare that honestly, if the freaking lemons and the freaking apple cider vinegar works, like that's it. I'm just like gonna die. But you know, this guy was talking a lot also about the mindset behind it. And when he started talking about the mindset behind the skincare, I was like, hmm, I was triggered and I thought of the hypnotherapist. And I was like, okay, so you just said the mindset to do with skincare and you were triggered. How can one sentence be just so misinformed? I, I have an itchy back, I'm, okay? Um. <laughs> anyway, um, how? How? What the fuck does mindset have to do with clear skin? I'd almost prefer you say Monet did that. You just... And being triggered means something negative is triggering you. You're using it incorrectly. Like, huh, I'm going to reach out to this guy and see if he's ever helped anyone with acne. And he was very honest and he was like, honestly, with acne particularly, no. But with other things that manifest onto the skin, yes. How much money do you have? Yes, I treat exactly the thing that you want me to do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I do that. So things like um, tremors or stutters in your speech. Um, I think he said eczema uh, also. And guys, anything that is manifesting in you, you are doing something to cause it. Okay. Um, and sometimes we think, oh, it's food, but it's like, yo, my nutrition is amazing. My lifestyle, like everything, that's when it hit me. I was like, there's something bigger going on because I am like up here with how I live my life. So what is it? What does that mean? I'm up here. As in you're elevated above everybody. It's this expectation that she's better than people as well. You know, that's what that sounded like. I am better than this. Why is this happening to me? And then, again, she's looking at things with the lens of victim blaming, saying that what you think happens. God damn it. You know, if that was true, no one would be poor. It's just not true. And it's ignorant to not even acknowledge that that there are there are things in your life or their life or ex you know external factors that affect what how your life runs you know <sighs> You know, because I didn't grow up like this my whole life. What is it? And then I recognized it was me. And I came to that conclusion, like, slowly on my own. But then I was like, you know what? Let me work with this hypnotherapist. So 
I've talked to a few people about it and I recognize that a lot of people are like extremely afraid of hypnotherapy and I've had people tell me, oh, like I just don't want to not be in control. And like, I think it, they make it seem a lot scarier than what it is. Like it was a very simple process. I mean, I was sitting in my bed and uh, I had my video on with this guy. He lives in California and yeah there was a point where he was like counting down and then he was like okay now try and open your eyelids and i couldn't open my eyelids and i was just in a huge state of relaxation and um the goal of this is to get your subconscious to speak to you okay and we were just like he was doing this whole thing where he was like affirming like the future of my skin and how it's healthy and how it can take care of itself and for so long i kept on reinforcing the fact that my skin could not do its job so i had to take care of it i have to do this million step routine i have to so of course like i'm stripping away like your skin has flora too just like your gut right and if you're doing the most to it like it's in a vulnerable state you're like yeah i can't take care of yourself because you yourself are killing it and sometimes with all these cosmetics that we add we do just that so what I ha what have i been doing lately really trying to stay away from makeup and it's hard right because you're like an online person and and people have expectations but i don't get care about what people expect and at the end of the day like i have to take care of me right so i don't know who had to hear that but but you're definitely wearing makeup now and have a filter on so how do we know how clear your skin is it's important to say it out loud sometimes um take care of you like forget about what everyone else is thinking take care of you um but anyway so when i went into this hypnosis um he's affirming all these beautiful things that will start to unfold but then he's like okay now we're going to speak to your subconscious so now ask your subconscious why it is continuously manifesting. You guys are so sweet. Oh my God, my heart. Um, now ask your subconscious why it is continuously manifesting acne. And like this, guys, like it was this, I'm really good with downloads. So I always say that God speaks through me. Some people may think I'm crazy for me saying that, but it happens I don't think you're crazy. I think you're very arrogant to think that you, of all people, are going to be spoken to by the creator. You're, you know, your creator. I'm agnostic, but do you know what I mean? Like, she's so important. She's, she is the messenger. And God is speaking through her. And he's been really all about shampoo, but then all of a sudden he's now into crypto. Then God's telling her that's what what is happening. Like I said, it's main character syndrome, like squared. You know, it is just crazy. Almost every day, and I just have learned to honor it. Um, and it happens like at really random times, like just a few days ago, it happened with one of Marcus's friends. And I was in that place where, you know, you're being called to say something, but you're like, this might be completely off, but I've learned to trust my instinct. Um, but his friend was talking to him in German about some of his issues with his partner. And I didn't even understand what they were talking about. And I got this gut calling of what I had to tell this guy. And I told him it in English. And I was like, I have no idea what you're saying, but this is what I need to tell you. And he was like, that's exactly what I'm experiencing and what I needed to hear. So I've just really started to trust these callings. And I always say, oh, my God, Veronica is a saint walking on this earth. God speaks through her. Veronica Bay. Of course. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a boyfriend whoever's inviting me to go out unless Simone is a female we could go out for coffee um, but why would you go out with a random on your live that's weird as well anyways so I went ahead and I um, through the 
when I was hypnotized, it was like a message that hit me, but it didn't feel like, it just felt like, I don't know, it was different. Like I've really been able to recognize like messages that I feel like come from God. And this, I don't know if it was like God mixed with my higher self, but it spoke like this. Like when I asked subconscious, why am I manifesting acne? Instantaneously, this message came to me and it was like, because I want you to learn to love yourself despite of how you look. And I just started crying. Oh, you got to be joking. Like, are you fuck? Are you for real? <laughs> that is such bullshit. She loves herself. She is all about the self promotion. She didn't need God to give her acne to realize that. She is her own hype machine seriously this is just ridiculous if people buy this you're idiots i'm sorry but you are so much because you know you guys see me over here like this strong independent woman who works hard who's so successful who has done so many things was a news reporter became successful in network marketing now had the courageous um took the courageous move of like changing companies because she wanted to follow her heart you guys see all of this but no one sees like you're not courageous for leaving your fucking mlm and joining another mlm are you kidding me you you gotta be joking but she's not she's completely serious and that's the problem she just thinks she's fucking fantastic and how successful was your journalism career if you left it to sell shampoo. Hey? You got an answer? Crickets? Can I hear crickets? No, I can hear rain because it's raining in my town. But this is just, it, it's too much. <sighs> she just thinks she's so important. And, oh, it's just, it's so annoying. She's annoying. Sometimes the battles that you fight internally. And I recognize like my whole life, I have been so hard on myself. And what the hypnotherapist... You just called yourself courageous. You might have a mean inner critic, right? I, we don't know what happens inside. But it does not seem like that because of the way... You, you speak about yourself, the way you treat yourself, the way you treat other people. It doesn't seem that way. He's told me, which by the way, guys, I will definitely share his info after. And I'm not getting paid for this. There's no referrals or anything. I just love that it worked for me and I hope that it could work for someone else. But he told me when you manifest things like acne, eczema, stutters, uh, facial twitches or anything like that, it usually happens after a specific event that unfolds in your life. And, you know, he had asked me, he's like, oh, like, around what time in your life did the acne start manifesting? And, you know, looking back, I recognized it was like, I was going through this really hard time in my life because I had broken up with my, well, actually my college sweetheart broke up with me and then I was really hurt so I ended up dating this other guy that showed me attention great guy super sweet but I wasn't ready for that I just jumped into another relationship to not be lonely and to I don't know try and forget what happened here but then I decided to move back to Miami this guy wanted to move with me and then I broke up with him after he had sold his house and then this guy was in Miami and I didn't know what was happening with anyone. And Do you think I could sue Veronica Bay for like an emotional trauma? Hmm. Any lawyers want to chime in in the comments? Yeah, you know, help me out. And I was starting a business and the business was succeeding and I felt like I should have felt good about myself, but I felt like shit. You were not starting a business. It was a MLM and you are a contracted worker. Because how else did you get terminated, V? 
hey? Because you violated your contract by cross-recruiting, which is very clearly stipulated in your contract. But you thought it was like a silly thing, not worth listening to. <laughs> I would, I would be, if I was my mate, I'd be fucking petty. I'd be taking her to task. But she probably has some dirt on them. They, probably all the top people do. They all have to have this reciprocal, you better not or I'll release what I've got sort of vibe, you know. Anyway, she sucks. Because I was hurting these multiple people and then more than I was hurting them, I was hurting myself because I was just feeling bad about the situations that I put people. She, she, she's talking about how she hurt people, but is looking at it from the perspective of herself being in the center of it. Oh my god, she's so self-absorbed. She must be so boring to talk to at a party or whatever because she just would not even be engaging because she's just trying to think of what she can say next, you know, so that she gives off whatever illusion that she's going for, you know, whether it's a strong, silent type or fun and outgoing uh just making me angry <laughs> through and i started looking at myself in a very shameful way and i started seeing myself as you know like a bad person you did not. and when i connected that that's when my skin started acting up i was like oh my god because I was lacking so much self-love. And when my subconscious spoke to me and said, I want you to learn to love yourself, even if you don't look good, like what a freaking lesson. And that's it, guys. Every single day, all around us, our emotions are... So that's the lesson you were supposed to learn. And then you weren't supposed to be as shallow, I'm sure, afterwards. Or well, that's probably the angle you were going for. Uh... You're not shallow. I mean, you are shallow. It is only about the looks for you, you know. You had to be perfect. Our feelings, the things that happen to us, like even if like you get a specific sickness, your sickness is trying to tell you something. We are energy, our thoughts and our feelings, they all need to be honoured. And Yeah, so when you have diarrhoea, Body, the body is telling you that you really need to poop and quickly. So it's watered down, you know. So you got to listen to your body say, I need to get this out of me right now. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Uh, the other day I was watching this documentary with Joe Dispenza and they were speaking about how no way I was watching Kia's World a little earlier today if you don't know Kia's World so she covers a lot of the Hollises Rachel Hollis, Dave Hollis Heidi Powell, oh man Dave and Heidi like Heidi dump that dickhead please he is such an idiot and he treats you with such contempt i don't like heidi at all either but he is so rude to her he just he's so rude get rid of him anyway kia was saying because it was just a a, a life just with heidi and heidi was talking up joe dispenza and when kia was talking about that she mentioned that michelle fan fan p-h-a-n she's an og youtuber has followed joe dispenza and is in this like sort of almost culty thing 
And it's like, um, now the third one here spouting this shit, Joe Dispenser shit. Oh, God. Uh, there was this little baby who, since the baby was born, had like really bad eczema and the mom really tried everything and the baby was allergic to every single food, every single food. And then one day the mom just sat down and started meditating with the baby in her hands and just started like emitting the strongest frequency of love. And love is healing. And most of the times when bad things are happening to us, it's because we're, we're out of this alignment. And I was out of that alignment with myself and with the way that I viewed myself. And the acne was probably supposed to be a temporary thing that like helped me like get back on track. But then I gave it all my energy and I wanted to force it to go away. And I wanted and I just resisted it so hard that it persisted. And guys, it is crazy because after that hypnotherapy session, I've just changed so much in the way that I feel in my skin. Like before I used to be so self-conscious, I always felt the need to talk about it. If I would pass by a mirror, I wouldn't see me. I would see the imperfections on my skin. I don't believe you. Skin. And it would drive me crazy. And like my boyfriend was always like, you're going like you're so beautiful like how is this what you see like why is it always like about that when there's so much more to you and it's crazy because so many people live like that uh that didn't happen all right i i did make a new post-it yeah it's like you have a million good things but you can only focus on the bad and the bad is usually there to teach you a lesson and I just... But it doesn't have to, okay? You don't have to be constantly looking for messages in the world. Like, if you find a piece of rubbish on the ground and, you know, it's a piece of paper where it, that, where it says, love is the answer, doesn't mean shit. just means somebody dropped their rubbish, okay? And I'm thinking of... Oh, sorry. I just was, I just heard something outside. Don't worry. <laughs> Completely like surrendered control after that hypnotherapy session and how I'm telling you guys, I have a million expensive products in the bathroom. Don't use any of them because I know that my skin has the power to heal naturally and it has been doing that. And it's been purging a little, but like just like the way it feels is different because I'm not putting a million acids and trying to clean everything away. Instead, I'm trying to feel better about how I feel in my skin. And there are other natural skin products, you know, that are low in chemicals, but also some chemicals are good and people use them for good on their faces and hair and skin and, you know, etc. Loving it despite of what it's going through. And this is such a different perspective to what is talked about because we live in this like consumer world where we feel that every single problem of ours will be handled externally. And the only way to heal things is to buy something, buy a prescription, a medicine that's going to cure you. No, not accurate. And uh, what did she say before that? Sorry, my brain. I'm going to clean everything away. Instead, I'm trying to feel better about how I feel in my skin and loving it despite of what it's going through. And this is such a different perspective to what is talked about because we live in this like consumer world where we feel that every single problem of ours will be handled externally and the only way to heal things is to buy something buy a prescription a medicine that's going to cure you but then you learn about the power of energy so going back to the story of the mom with the baby when she meditated and she said she just had the craziest meditation like the most open-hearted meditation and her baby's how do you know that it was open-hearted meditation how the fuck would you even know that? 
What did what did the doctor invite people to come and sit around her as she lost touch with reality in the middle of giving birth? I know it wasn't birth; it sounded like it was after. But you know, you get my my drift. Eczema was healed, like that energy transferred over to her baby, and it helped heal the baby's skin. And then that's how they cured her baby through doing loving meditations. And what? sometimes we forget to love on ourselves. I just and I just worked out that I put the wrong label on. We're like something. doing a million things and we forget like, hey, you need you, your body, your soul, your mind, it needs you to, you know, root root it on. <laughs> so I stopped talking about my skin. I stopped thinking that I had to change it. And I was like, I love the way I am right now. And if it were to stay like this for the rest of my life, I would still love me. But I know now that I have understood the signal that my subconscious was trying to send me, which was, girl, love yourself unconditionally. Now that I've started to do this, my skin no longer feels the need to manifest acne on my face. Am I saying it's going to be perfect and I'm going to be porcelain in like a month? No, I don't know. But this is how I feel in my heart. And it's like these, this is why it's so important. Why don't you know? You can manifest it. You can manifest anything on demand. That's what you're telling us right now. It's important to get curious about your lives, right? Because the only way to rid yourself of any struggle that you're going through is to get curious about it and ask questions. And why am I here? And how did I get here? And what would life be like if I wasn't no longer here? Then that inspires you to go on the journey to change. So what if I wouldn't have... Can you just hurt, like, you don't have to be this deep in life. You know, some inquiring question could be, hmm, I wonder if Mac is as open or, hmm, yeah. Um... Ah, my brain's gone. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I don't know what. Empty. Need to manifest a brain. Even given the thought of like, maybe the acne is in my mind and not... Guys, I've done everything. I've gone vegan to heal my skin uh, for like nine months. I did that. I'm very disciplined. I've gone sober. I've um, cut out dairy. I've done all these different things at different periods throughout the three years. And then it hit me. It's not outside of me. It is within me. So this goes and applies to so many things. And I think that with people's weight. She's the most special person in all of the wide world, Veronica Bay, she is the best. Journeys, it's a very big one. You will lose the weight when you actually believe that you can be a thinner version of you and a healthier version of you. Because a lot Thin doesn't equal health. A lot of people are going after this healthier life with all this toxicity inside of their mind, their hearts, and their souls. Okay, so yeah, just wanted to share this because it really impacted my life. And like, of course, it's this was like a week and a half ago. And so once you do the hypnosis with him, he actually sends you the uh, video so that you could do it. Great. Great. So he's selling something. Uh, and, oh, she said something else. Sorry, got to go back at a smidgy. Inside of their mind, their hearts, and their souls. Okay, so, yeah. Just wanted to share this because it really impacted my life. And, like, of course, it's this was, like, a week and a half ago and so once you do the hypnosis with him he actually sends you the 
uh, video so that you could do it again on your own. I honestly uh, haven't been too disciplined with it, but I think it's because I got the message like on a soul level. Like I'm a very just when something hits and I understand, I understand. Like I don't need someone to remind me of the concept, but I just think it's cool that I get to go back. Uh, so if you're someone that vapes, if you're someone that has a strong tie to smoking or anything like that, uh, this guy helps people like get rid of these really horrible addictions. Like these things are killing you, right? Like I see people... I have one of my good friends who lights up his hookah all the time and I'm just like, yo, do you know what that's doing to you internally? Like, can we love ourselves a little bit more throughout this lifetime? So, if I were to rate and review hypnosis, I think it was really, really interesting and it just got me to understand something. That You're raving about it and you sound like you're just going to give it a three because it's in the middle you just finish friggin spruiking it all over the place better that i didn't understand before i didn't even know that hypnosis went against christianity now that i know that someone mentioned that in the beginning i think that there are so many that's not even true like i'm sure that it's not even mentioned in the bible just like transgender people and homosexuals although maybe that was mentioned in the in the in the good book but yeah uh lots of white europeans in this sort of thing like it's not mystical is what i'm saying sorry just not getting it out i was thinking of like one thing and then trying to say another thing amazing tools to tap into your subconscious and I think it would be silly not to use them if they bring you to a place of more peace um, so that then you could vibrate at that higher frequency that God wanted you to vibrate at. So definitely recommend. I'm going to share his info. His name is Glenn. Um, but yeah, keep in mind a lot of what he does on Instagram is like entertainment hypnosis because of course hello we're all trying to beat the algorithm um but you could just get on a call with him and if you like him you book him like go off the vibe that's what i did like when i scheduled a consult with him it wasn't like okay i'm gonna book you it was like let me feel out who you are and if i feel comfortable going on this journey with you so has anyone on here done it before uh, maybe you could <coughs> Maybe someone put, can I get a Christian friend from here, please? Don't understand. Has anyone on here tried hypnosis? Aren't you? Is she typing? But yeah, guys. Um, thank you about the lucky boyfriend. He is a very lucky boyfriend. And I'm a lucky girlfriend. Um, but yeah... His name is Glenn. Just go to my stories and I'm going to share it now. Um, Sounds like a real hip name, Glenn. Amanda the hypnotist. has done it. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to share it. Um, that's the thing. Okay, nothing will ever work unless you allow it to work. So, for example, this morning I did this beautiful meditation. Anytime I am prescribing anything to my fulfillment mentorship um, students, I always immerse myself into the experience first. Um, and I have been trying to get this... Look, not myself, but my grandmother quit smoking after over 20 years heavily from hypnosis yeah that's really cool i love that um but wait what was i just saying oh so i was my client couldn't get herself to meditate and so i wanted to try a different kind of meditation that i felt would resonate with her a little bit more so that she could ease into it um and it was uh excuse me does this mean that you're the hypnotist expert now 
this meditation where you're actually at one point also like chanting a little and it was very different than what i usually do when it comes to meditation and you're like reciting a mantra uh in your mind um i am not my body and i am not my mind i think that's what it was over and over and over and over again so it was very different and when i saw like the breakdown of how it's done i was like ah but I told myself, I was like, you will only be able to experience what this has to offer if you fully believe that this could work for you. And I sat down actually right here, but on the floor, and I had this amazing meditation, super unexpected, super unexpected. It was only 12 minutes long, but when I finished, I was like, I felt so good. Like, I felt like I was, I don't know, it was amazing um but yeah guys just wanted to share with you all that um and yeah i actually have another call starting right now so i have to jump off uh this live but no i have not um done cbt or maybe i have and i didn't know cognitive behavioral therapy sweetheart it's called cbt i do a lot of things i love learning so i spend a lot of my time self-teaching through people who have phds and are on youtube um i'm so happy that this this is here because she is so condescending she rates herself as like the smartest person in the room and she's like, maybe I've done it. I don't know. Cognitive behavioral therapy. <laughs> ah, that tickled me. So, yeah, that's that's what I find fun. And that's something, that's the reason why I do lives like this is because right now I'm really excited about this project that I'm pushing, you know, helping people become more financially literate. But I also am this person that really works on her heart and her mind and helps other people do the same because fulfillment like i know what it is like to because fulfillment i work on these things because fulfillment god damn it she's she's going off script here i reckon so she's going a bit rogue be making a lot of money and not be happy and mostly because I witnessed a lot of people around me be like that. And that is what actually inspired me to start my fulfillment mentorship program. Because being joyful from the inside out and just looking at life as a beautiful miracle and blessing, it's, it's everything. It's everything. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes to hypnotherapy. It got a 10 from my side, especially with Glenn. If you want to kick a bad habit, uh, book him or get a consultation with him. And when it comes to acne, guys, or any skin condition, less is more. Love on yourself. Stop trying to... What's your qualifications to give out skincare advice? Get so creative. What you resist, persists. So if anyone missed it who's on now, I now cleanse my face with lemon. I literally get a lemon and I cleanse my face and I tone it with apple cider vinegar. It stinks a little, um, but it's just the price I'm paying. Oh, that's, that's the citric acid. Yeah? Thank you right now, but yes, I always love to share, so I'm happy to be here. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye, guys. I always love to share. Uh, uh, I bet. Nah, I was going to say something very nasty, but. Uh, she's just so unpleasant. Main character syndrome. Freaking. Uh, she just spoke for half an hour about hypnosis being a bomb. And, well, she didn't prove that with her, how she spoke about it. She's so monotone. Well, we know, we know what this is. We know. 
it's it's uh it's all bullshit. <laughs> uh I don't know that uh, you know, I've heard some crazy things being used for skin. One of my good friends, um, one of my good teacher friends, and I don't have many teacher friends, okay, but one of my good teacher friends, she has horrifically bad, has had horrifically bad skin, you know, evident. So you can see that she's had bad skin because she's got um, scars and things like that. Veronica doesn't have any of that. Veronica's pretty unscathed. We didn't have any teaching at school today. It was a meeting day. And, yeah, it was really good. I got to do some planning with uh, one of my other I, – I like the other teacher who I planned with for this one. He and I, we, we – he's like a, a mini version of me, except he's a man and he's like 20 years younger than me. We've got a really, like, very similar, like, sort of cash – cash laid back style so he, it was good and then I was painting my mural which I'm trying to get finished but if I get a job somewhere else I'll show you oh can we see it so it's like that's about as best as I can do it that doesn't blow it out oh I might have to just put it on the screen hey but it's a, uh, it's Starry Nights remixed with Keith Haring. So, and then the other side's going to have something else. So, I like that. I like that incentive. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you go, peoples, because I am going to feed the doggeroos and. Uh, yeah, film another video, I reckon, because this one wasn't really about MLMs, but it's just about how Veronica kind of sucks. Anyway, have a good whatever, and I'll see you next time. Please remember to like and subscribe. I would do that for you. I would. I really would. Veronica wouldn't. She, she'd tell you that you need to work on your mindset. You can't get subs if you don't have the right mindset, people. Oh, the rain's starting to come down now. Yay, I love rain. It's my jam. All right. Playing the awkward song. All right, goodbye.